have been getting sick every single month for I don't know probably since January 2024 we're in June and I'm definitely not okay I'm going to take you with me on this healing series one of the first decisions that I've made is to book a therapy so I'm leaving on Friday we're going to the south of Spain on Saturday we have a wedding currently um 5 30. today has been a very slow day um i have been all the time with my mom just helping her in the kitchen cooking tonight we're gonna have a dinner here at home so we wanted to leave everything ready and then i went to visit my neighbor i like her a lot i love her and i've known her since i was a kid so she's very important for me and I really wanted to see her. I haven't recorded a lot because I have basically been at home just chilling and been with my mom. We have been watching <laughs> Bridgerton and um, now we're getting ready and I'm going to go with my sister, my mom, her best friend, which is actually like a second mom to me. Her daughter is my best friend, but sadly she's not here. So we're going to go the four of us together to look at some fabrics to see if I can find anything that I like for my wedding dress. I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm trying not to stress a lot about it. I just want to rest and do nothing. Yesterday was quite hard to not think about work. Today, I feel better about it. The therapy session yesterday really, really helped me. And at night, we went to have dinner, so I really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, basically that. So tonight is like, it's the last night here. Jorge and I are leaving tomorrow and we're going to another place which is my mom's hometown but we're going alone and I'm really excited about that and um, some alone time because I just need time to be alone and disconnect to connect. <laughs> Morning. The fish. <laughs> We're going to have some breakfast now before we start our little adventure and make our way to the camping site. Okay. We have just arrived to Almeria city. Our next bus is at a quarter past three. So we're gonna go to the supermarket and grab, where are we grabbing? Food? Huh? Yeah. Food? Food? Yeah, food. Food? for the camping. For the camping, yeah. Why? 
and wine. That's the old station. Lovely weather also. So a little update, we arrived at the camp around 5. It's a beautiful camp, I will make a video about of our room tomorrow because now it's almost no light so you won't be able to see it nicely. We came to the beach which is next to the camp, this is the beach. And we just sat here under the sun, Jorge Swam. I wasn't feeling it, but I put my feet under the water. I We were reading for a while and now we had some dinner here while seeing part of the sunset, a little bit of wine. And now where we're going to go is to the restaurant of the camp. We are going to have something there. Then we're gonna have a shower and chill for the rest of the night. And we'll catch up with you later tomorrow to show you our plans at what we're doing. to show you where we're staying. So that way is the beach. We enter through a small, tiny, like little way that is coming from down there. Over here to this beautiful terrace, Jorge is preparing breakfast. Um, there are other cabins over there, but we try to come this way so that we don't bother the other ones and respect their privacy. Look how cute this terrace is and this is the view which is amazing. So much nature, exactly what I needed. There's Jorge, hi! So this is the entrance to the place. It's the little door. And here we've got the bed which I just made, we've got our towels there that we left to dry from yesterday, that's the little wardrobe right here where we keep all of our things. That way is the bathroom and here is a little tiny but super cute kitchen with all of the essentials. And here is the bathroom.
Today we're going to go to the Larquilar, following um, trail. a trail, right? Trekking trail. Yeah, on the mountain. So before we leave, we're just going to buy some foods because we plan on not having lunch today. We had a big breakfast, so just some fruits, just in case we get a tiny little bit hungry. And voila! Look at that track. Nice. Let me go on. I got my fruit and change of plans, right? Change of plans, yeah. We are going to a further uh, beach that is further away, yeah. but it's, I think it's better. Mm. Um, and it's kind of, it's, it's more famous because it's kind of hippie. It's like, there is like a, I think, like a, like a some community living there. Mm. And it's quite difficult to reach because you can only, you can only get there by walking. Mm -hmm. There are obviously no, no way to get there by car. I mean, it's a place I've heard for uh, like since very long time, and I didn't know that it was so close to where we are. I mean, close is like an hour and a half yeah. walking, but still walkable. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have decided to go there instead. Fun day. So walking day. Yeah. <laughs> So that right there is where the camping is located and we walked all of this all the way here up this mountain and we're going to continue that way. Where are we? Um, so I was going to show that that's the place where we left. We walked all of these mountains and now we are here in La Cala San Pedro. Hey guys, so it's 10 to 6 and instead of going back walking, we have found a boat. So Jorge and I are ready and we're going to go on the boat back to where we are staying, which they said is 15 minutes, right? Yeah, 15 minutes. So we have arrived. We are a little bit wet. Yes. From the waves, Quite. but we didn't capsize, likely. And where are we going now? We're heading back to the camp. We're gonna shower. We're gonna get ready, and then we're gonna come back again, have dinner, arroz negro. 
Black eh, rice. Yes. Arrocito negro. Rico, rico. Good morning. We are ready to leave the camping. Today we're going to visit one of the places we thought for our wedding. And then we're going to make our way back to where I normally spend my summers. And yep, just enjoy the rest of our stay. So a little update, we're back in Almerimar this afternoon, all we did was just chill on the sofa, I finished watching Bridgerton, we were both quite tired so we just needed to be there resting. Jorge actually did some workout after that mm -hmm. and he went to do some grocery shopping and now we're going to meet my aunt and we're going to have dinner. I did also some laundry and we're wearing the same outfit as yesterday. This outfit we got in Bali is very special for us and I will not be able to wear it anymore because we don't have this temperature in Brussels. So we're repeating outfit for Saturday night. Okay, here we go. It's five to seven. I love how daylight already is. I love this time of the year. The days are so long. It makes me really, really happy. It boosts my mood and my energy, but I'm a bit sad right now because I'm going to get my taxi to go to the airport and go back to Brussels. I just said goodbye to Jorge. He's staying here. I mean, not here, here, but like in Granada, um, another beautiful place in the south of Spain. 
he's staying until the end of July. It's going to be a very long time without him. Hi guys, I just arrived home, not just arrived, but I basically just arrived from Spain. It's currently 3.30 p.m. and the first thing that I had to do was groceries shopping because I have nothing at home. One of the things that I promised myself when I came back from vacation was not to jump straight away into work because I don't know if you can relate with this, but when I come, I go through lots of different emotions altogether. First of all, I'm going away from my hometown, which I absolutely love, and it makes me feel connected to myself and my roots. Second of all, I'm leaving my family behind, which is always super hard. Then, when I come back, I'm bombarded with all of the tasks of work, like emails, administrative things, and everything that has to be done that I haven't done you know, for however long. And this time, on top of that, Jorge is staying there. My partner, Jorge, is staying there. I know it's not going to be super long. I know other couples deal with worse situations, but I'm not used to this. I'm used to having Jorge here all the time, so we're not going to see each other for a month and a half. And as soon as I came here, I was like, I'm going to stick to my promise, and I'm just going to settle in my home. Put the food away, I need to eat something because I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything since this morning. I'm going to unpack. I'm going to water my beautiful plants because they probably need some water watering. We normally have a friend that always comes here to check on the house, check on the fish and so on, but I don't think he watered the plants, which is okay because we haven't actually been away that long. It was all, only like a week and a few days more. Um, so yeah, today is going to be about easing in slowly and tomorrow I will go to work. I will see what happens because normally the first night uh, back is horrible and I cannot sleep and I wake up with migraines. So I will see if I go to the office or work from here. There's a lot that I have to do with the computer so it's not like I need to be present in the laboratory. I really wanted to share this because it's part of my healing. There's no point in doing healing and going away to heal your burnout if as soon as you come back you're just going to do nothing to keep that calm state and just go straight into work and hate burnout again. Mm -hmm. 